Earth. In fact, he's never seen a football game in his life. But still, he practices formations on a football field, represents his school colors with pride on his uniform of the marching band at Louisville. Tom Rinaldi has his incredible story. The piece is titled Claire de Lune, Light of the Moon. In the darkness of his eyes and through the sweetness of his hands, when Patrick Hughes plays, it is the music of possibility and the sound of promise. How would you describe your disabilities? Not disabilities at all, more abilities. Abilities everybody hears and sees at every Louisville football game. To understand how Patrick Hughes and his father became a two-person member of the Cardinal Marching Band, go back to when the music began. Born without eyes and with a tightening of the joints that prevents his limbs from ever straightening, Patrick has been blind and crippled from birth. It's just countless the number of dreams that, that die, and my wife and I were devastated. We just asked why us. We played by all the rules. We worked hard. We just didn't understand. That heartbreak began to fade even before Patrick's first birthday from his first moments at the family's piano in Louisville, Kentucky. You could go up and, and hit a note no matter where it was on the, on the piano and within a, one or two tries he would find that exact note. By his second birthday, he was playing requests. Can you play You Are My Sunshine? Play Twinkle. I was just ecstatic that, you know, okay, we're not going to play baseball, but we're going to play music together. And that was, that was really exciting. Let's see how far we can run with this. Fitted with artificial eyes and placed in a wheelchair, as Patrick grew, so did his passion and his talent. He played old standards by grade school and blues numbers by high school. By the time he arrived at the University of Louisville this year, his musical ability on piano as well as trumpet was well known throughout the city. I said, Patrick, you need to be a part of the marching band. <laughs> and their reaction was um, just a little bit of a pause. My dad and I are hearing this and we're like, uh, right. I mean, how in the heck am I supposed to march? The next step was working out what we needed to make happen in order for Patrick to be involved in the marching band, other than just parking on the sidelines and playing his instrument. I said, well, if Dr. Burns that impassioned about it and Patrick wants to do it, then by golly, I'll give it my all as well. So it was decided Patrick would play and Dad would push. As part of the 214-member Louisville Marching Band, a blind and wheelchair-bound trumpet player and his able-bodied father do it all together. From the pre-game drill practice to the march around the stadium to the halftime performance in front of thousands. Dad rolls and rotates his son across the field in mostly perfect formation. He'll sometimes end up pushing me a little quicker than normal, so that pretty much means, hey, must have done something wrong, so he, he's got to hurry up to get me to the right spot. Dip. Spin. In order to be at every band practice, I'm too slow on the spin. And to sit beside his son in every class. Question? Yes. How do you come up with all the... Patrick's father works the graveyard shift for UPS. How would you describe a work day for your dad? Poor thing. Uh, he goes to work about 11 o'clock at night, Monday through Thursday nights, and then gets in at about 6 and, and goes to bed at about 6 and sleeps till around 11. 
By the time Patrick moves from his bed into his wheelchair each morning, Dad is ready to begin their day together. He's, he's my hero. I've told him before. Uh, what he goes through, it's taught me that I don't really have any complaints. I guess a father couldn't ask for, for any more than, than the relationship that I have with Patrick. God made me blind and unable to walk. Big deal. He gave me the ability to the musical gifts I have and the great opportunity to meet new people. That's your fans, buddy. But maybe when they hear him play, they recognize, wow, you know, imagine the possibilities I didn't even consider when I saw this young man that I now know from hearing him play. So whether it be on a field playing the Louisville fight song or at the piano playing Claire de Lune, in a sense the melody is the same. Patrick Hughes plays so that we might hear the music of opportunity and the sound of potential. Mm, Tom, thank you. Uh, Patrick and his dad will be honored with the Disney Spirit Award at the Home Depot College Football Awards this week. He's also part of the pep band at Louisville, who plays at the home basketball games, but because this is a big home finale football game, he was out there bright and early at Papa John Stadium with his father, 8.30 a.m., warming up. Kirk and I had a chance to watch him perform at halftime of the Louisville-West Virginia game. It was a very special moment. He's also played, by the way, at the Grand Old Opry, the Kennedy Center. He's played for Muhammad Ali in Louisville. And he has his own CD out, 23 songs, including some of his own original compositions. You can find it by Googling. So Louisville and Connecticut coming up at the top.